Welcome to the Bourget Air Show. We're here to discuss the global eye. Why is it an important topic? This is the future airborne warning and control system of the French military, made official yesterday. We'll take a tour to show you all the details. With exclusively a sand specialist. Mark Henry. Hello, hello. We met two years ago for the Global Eye. This plane makes me dream. I was a radar operator on maritime patrol aircraft with basic training at DNAE. Here we have the elite of the best radar aircraft. That's pretty much it. Yes, clearly, yes. What's the point of having a radar aircraft to begin with? The initial need was to have a radar, so an airborne radar, because... Essentially a radar. When at a high altitude, it can detect low-flying aircraft hidden in valleys. So it sees better at a distance, it sees better towards the ground, so it's not masked by the terrain. So it can go wherever it wants, whenever it wants, depending on operational needs. We send the plane if a ground radar breaks down or if there's a specific need in an area not covered. Then the Swedes thought they could do better, so what they did was add consoles on board with operators. I know you're aware, but that's the one that was given to Ukraine. This allows them to control operations from the aircraft, meaning there is a tactical data link between the aircraft and the ground. In the version with operators on board, it's a dialogue that also occurs with fighter jets in the air, for example. Then, it's the development of different versions for clients like Brazil, Greece, Thailand and so on. So they change platforms. Initially, it was a Saab 340, which is a small regional B2B aircraft. Then uh, there was the version on the Saab 2000, which is a stretched version for regional transport. And the Ambra 145, which is the version that was chosen for Brazil and especially for Mexico. So those were the developments up until the years 2000 to 2010. Then came the Emirati client and we reached the current version. The Global Eye. So what was added? More data link, satellite communication, etc. But thanks to electronic eavesdropping, we can already do identification and additional surveillance. That means if the radar doesn't see or doesn't see first, we might be able to pick up a signal. For instance, a plane emitting a forward cone radar signal may be electronically detected before being seen on radar. Which already allows us to have a plot, a target with... In addition... An identification that allows us to determine the aircraft type based on its radar signal. So that's extremely valuable. What else is there on this version? We added a maritime surveillance radar under the belly of the aircraft, which is optimized for maritime surveillance, and also a electronic ball, which allows for optical surveillance. So on the main radar, main radar, we, we're discussing the main radar, specifically the RII. Previously, they were large flying saucer-shaped radars with poor aerodynamics. There you go, just a little side note. The main radar. This is a technology that was developed, uh, as I said, initially in the 80s, which is a radar. Active electronically scanned array. Active electronically scanned array electronic. In English. So the difference with airborne warning and control system is that the antenna doesn't scan mechanically. It's not an antenna that rotates. It's a fixed antenna and the radar signal scanning is done. Electronic scanning offers significant benefits, including the active antenna and electronic scanning capabilities. It means we have beams that are finer and more agile, so... We are not constrained by the mechanical movement of the antenna. We can scan two areas almost simultaneously, whether it's horizontally or vertically. That means we can monitor the ground and the air at the same time. This allows us, with the main antenna, to conduct aerial surveillance, but also surface surveillance for maritime or land objects. So it's really multi-domain. Uh, the other advantage is that since we're very precise with the signal, with the beam, we get better results in terms of radar accuracy. We can distinguish two objects that are closer together, and we're also much less sensitive to jamming. Jammers, in general, broadcast across all frequencies in a wider cone. So here we can potentially avoid jamming with the agility and precision of the radar beam. The bonus in all this is that now we're merging data from all the onboard sensors, but not just that. That means we can merge data coming from other sensors and also transmit merged information outside the aircraft. 
So here, it's a flying C2, it's a flying C2, that's exactly it. That's it, it's the Swiss Army knife. Uh, it has all the sensors and everything else imaginable on board, which means the controllers on board and everything that's transmitted to the ground. It's a complete and improved situation. In addition, we will incorporate a layer of artificial intelligence. So we really have highly consolidated information. How many people are on board? Well, that depends if we're talking about the... So let's start with the... Pilot side. On the pilot side, it's two. It's one. a business jet originally. Options for the console are located in the back, depending on your choice. Depending on the country and what they chose. It can be a five console configuration. A five console setup, okay. Because obviously not everyone always takes all the options we recommend after all. But the infrared camera, the underbelly radar. So uh, despite everything with these five consoles, we can do everything. We do everything at once. Unlike a previous generation aircraft where we had consoles dedicated to each function, here the consoles can do everything. You can choose to have any number of controllers on board, even up to five if you want. But if you want two controllers, a special operator for maritime surveillance, a mission chief, etc. You configure it however you want. Unlike my experience on Atlantic 2, these are modern radars, not medieval ones. On the mic, no, that's... It doesn't go beep anymore. With every antenna rotation. We have moved into another generation. In a European context, we are obviously sovereign. Come on, European sovereignty, my friends, buy this. To whoever is watching this, if you can make the call, please hurry. We need it soon. A big thank you. Thank you all. We'll see you very soon. We hope you enjoyed it. Let's take a quick tour around the plane's exterior, as it's quite nice.